Hello my dear friends today we are going to discuss about matter and its composition this is part first video in this video we will explore what is matter what is the properties of matter and what is the structure of matter so let's start what is matter can you classify following substances that we commonly use in our daily life as a solid liquid and gas so take a note note take a notebook and classify these substances in a solid liquid and gases so substances are notebook pencil oil milk ice cube air water table juice car so can you classify these substances in a solid liquid and gas yes definitely you can classify it now think and give answer my question observe this figure this is a liquid water second one is ice cube and third one is a water vapors so my question is that all are the different matters what do you think yes all are the different matters how see this figure these are the ice cube so ice cubes are present in the solid form this is the liquid water water is present liquid water is present in the liquid form and here water vapors so all all these water vapors are present in the gaseous form so the solid liquid and gases so all are the three different the big idea behind the matter is matter occupies space and has a mass how if you see the figure all matter having a mass so this liquid having a mass if we pour the uh, water in glass the weight of this glass is or mass of that glass is definitely increase so water vapors also if the vapors or gases present in one of the container or one of the um, uh, substances so what happen the mass of that substance is definitely will increase same case solid having a mass so the second point is that has a mass and occupy space see here all these ice cube having a particular shape and having a they are occupy the space same case here the empty glass was there but in that glass if we pour the water what happen just that water occupy the space of that container that glass same case vapors will also occupy the space in so that's why all matters having a mass as well as occupy space second one all matter is composed of tiny particles you know that everything present in the universe is made up of the small tiny particles and that tiny particles are nothing but the atoms so every matter is composed of the tiny particles and the third point is that the force holding that particles of matter together vary from one state of matter to the another the force of attraction in that matter see here ice cube the particles in the ice cube are closely packed to the each other that's why ice cube are in the solid state if you see in this liquid the matters in the particle the particles in the bat matter are loosely packed that's why the liquid are loosely packed but in the case of vapors vapors also the the particles in that matter are loosely packed so the force of attraction is very less here also force of attraction is less so that's why the force holding the particle of matter together vary from the one state of matter to another means solid having a strong force of attraction then liquid having a less force of attraction and then gas have two less force of attraction in the particles so this is a big idea behind the matter no matter everything that we can think of is matter this include food we eat the water we drink the air we breathe and even the book we read all are the matters so thus all things living or non living are matter now properties and state of matter the first properties matter occupy space yes matter occupy space matter occupy space and the space occupies depend on the shape and size of that matter the space occupied by that matter is depend on the shape and size let us perform an activity to understand even matter which we cannot see such as air occupy space okay fill the bowl with water crumble and insert tissue paper in the bottom of glass 
push the glass upside down into the bowl be straight come out check the tissue paper observe it the tissue paper is dry why the water in the bowl does not rise up in the glass to wet that tissue paper why it happened because air present inside that glass so from this activity we can observe we can say that matter occupy space empty glass now see the bubble will came out see these bubbles came out why because glass contains air now we will perform another activity let us take a tissue paper crumble it and place inside the glass now we will observe is that tissue paper will get wetted now see water did not rise it up inside the glass so that's why what do you think the tissue paper will be wetted or dry yes completely dry next matter has a mass all type of matter have a certain mass even the invisible matter such as air has a mass let's see one activity let's understand this with an example when two balloons of the same size are inflated equally and tied to the straight rod or a scale the scale will remain straight see here both balloons having a same amount of air so what happen the scale is straight rod is straight but when one of the balloon is deflated one of the balloon is deflated the scale tilted towards the inflated balloons why this is because the inflated balloon has more mass than the deflated balloon from this activity we can say that matter has mass even if the matter are invisible next matter can be detected by our senses we can feel all type of matter by our senses such as by touching by smelling etc for example matter such as air is invisible but we can still feel its presence now state of matter matter can be exist in the three different form of our states so that are you know solid liquid and gas okay we will see the difference between solid liquid and gas according to their characteristics the first characteristics is shape and hardness so in the case of solid solid having are solids are the hard and have a definite shape if you see the example of diamond car pen bricks coin rock all are having a definite shape as well as all are hard but in the case of liquid these are not hard and don't have a definite shape why because these take the shape of that container they are put in water mercury 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 is the metal but the only man, only metal that are in the liquid state petrol coffee acid wine all are the liquids so all are not hard and don't have definite shape why if you put all this liquid in one of the container so that liquid acquire that liquid take the shape of that container now in the case of gas these two are not hard and don't have a definite shape these fill the container in which these are kept air essence smoke carbon dioxide oxygen gas water vapors etc all are the examples of gases so gases all also don't have definite shape and these two are not hard next volume these have definite volume we can calculate volume of the solid 
in the case of liquid same we have these have a definite volume and gas these do not have a definite volume the next characteristics fluidity solids are rigid these do not flow liquid these flow gases these flow in all direction in the case of compressibility these are incompressible liquid are can be slightly compressible but in the case of gas these are highly compressible luster solids are property of luster certain solids such as metals are luster some liquids such as mercury are lusterous none of the gas have any lusterous property so read this chart once again you will understand the different characteristics of the solid liquid and gases thanks for the